very good morning to one and all today we are going to see about uh, the power factor improvement so uh, let's see the introduction of the power factor so you know the electrical energy is uh, most um, almost exclusively generated transmitted and distributed in the form of alternating current there are two types of currents so one is uh, direct current and as well as alternating current and alternating current has uh, most uh, advantages uh, method uh, to transmit distribute and as well as uh, to generate so we are more relying on uh, the alternate generating the alternating current so therefore the question of uh, power factor also um, comes immediately into the picture so you know the most of the loads most of the loads uh, what we are using um, in our home as well as in industry most of the industries are induction motors without the induction motors i think uh, maybe 90 uh, if you take like 98 percentage of industries maybe 100 percentage of industries without induction motor there is nothing if you take uh, Uh, your particular industries. If you count the number of induction motors in that, maybe minimum ten induction motors you can easily uh, find out. So to the maximum of uh, depends on their usage. So induction motor and um, and the most of the loads are inductive loads. What we are using uh, as of now, most of the loads are industrial inductive loads. So in houses, uh, like. Uh, majority of the loads are resistive and as well as inductive loads and if you take like industries like um, majority majorityly they are going for inductive loads uh, so very less uh, resistive loads but in house um, there is a equal equal like uh, the resistive of uh, some 30 30 percentage and inductive of 70 percentage but uh, the majority in industries we are using this induction motor and our clamps Uh, are inductive in nature and uh, hence have low lagging power factor so lagging power factor uh, will also come into the picture the low uh, power factor is highly undesirable as it causes an increase in current increase in current so automatically this low power factor due to this low power factor it will increase the uh, current so if it is increasing the current means uh, the losses will be more because Uh, the conductor which carrying that particular current, uh, we have to increase the uh, rating of the conductor. We have to increase the size of the conductor. So if a conductor is uh, uh, some uh, uh, like uh, uh, 10 mm, uh, 12 mm conductor, so uh, you need to increase the uh, this uh, size of the conductor to again 15 mm, 20 mm. So we can't go and uh, we are we can't go and take the wire and we can't replace in the poles. and we can't replace in the transmission lines uh, but uh, uh, instead we have to reduce this power factor reduce uh, reducing the power factor and also the line losses uh, due to the increase in the current in the conductor automatically heat loss will also come into the account and as well as uh, the um, the line losses line losses also will be there of active power in the, all the elements of the power system for power station uh, generator down uh, down the utilization device so in order to ensure most favorable condition for supply system from uh, engineering point of view it is important to have power factor as close to unity so the, there is always a, a phase angle um, like uh, uh, if you see like uh, the um, phase, uh, angle between the voltage and current it will be in the same axis voltage and current will be in the same axis while uh, generating so there is no difference there is no difference like this so voltage and current will be in the same axis but due to this inductive um, inductive loads there will be some variation there will be some lagging current there there will be some lagging current so due to this the space space between voltage and current will be of uh, somewhat lagging so we have to lead we have to uh, so it will be like this so uh, if you see like uh, the current will be like this so we have to lead we have to lead this current to uh, in the same axis uh, i'll show the phasor diagram so we have to lead 
So for that, we need some uh, equipment to uh, lead that uh, power factor. Okay. So next, uh, what is meant by power factor? So power factor is nothing but cosine of angle between the voltage and current in the AC circuit is known as power factor. Cosine of the angle between the voltage and current in the AC circuit is known as power factor. In AC circuit, there is generally a phase difference between the voltage and current. The term cos phi is called power factor of the circuit. If the circuit is inductive, then the current lags behind the voltage and the power factor is referred to as lagging. However, in capacitive, the current leads the voltage and power factor is said to be the leading. So if you see like this, voltage and current has to be in the axis, uh, same axis. This voltage and current has to be in the same axis. But uh, usually due to the uh, like uh, a large, um, we, are, we are using most of the inductive loads. So there is some lagging power factor. So if, um, uh, as I uh, this, uh, already said, if the circuit is inductive, then the current lags behind the voltage and power factor is referred to as lagging power factor. So in this figure, you, you are seeing the, okay, phasor diagram, that is lagging, lagging the power factor. That is current is lag behind the voltage by the angle of phi. Current lag behind the voltage by the angle of phi. Okay. However, in the capacit uh, capacitive circuit, the current leads the voltage and power factor is said to be leading. So, whereas in the capacitive circuit, this same thing, okay, the same current, this is lagging. So, same current will lead like this. Same current will lead like in this direction. In this direction, the same current will lead. So, consider the inductive circuit taking a lagging current I from the supply voltage B and the angle of lag uh, is being phi. The phasor of the circuit is shown in the figure. The the circuit current um, I can be resolved into two um, perpendicular components, namely I cos phi, that is here, this side I cos phi in phase with the voltage, and this is this side is I sin phi. I think uh, you already uh, studied in this, this concept, uh, that is uh, um, adjacent side, hypotenuse side, uh, like that. So this side is um, I cos phi, this is I sin phi that is the first component i cos phi is in the phase with the voltage so is in the phase with the voltage then i sin phi is out of the phase with the voltage this is the out of the phase with the voltage the i uh, cos phi is known as active or uh, watt full component or real power so active power or real power okay so next uh, Whereas the component I sin phi is known as reactive power or wattless component. Reactive power or wattless uh, component. So reactive power is a measure. Uh, reactive power is a com, uh, is a measure of the power factor. If the reactive power component is small, then the angle um, phase angle phi is small, and hence the power factor cos phi will be high. Therefore, the circuit having a small reactive current will have higher power factor and vice versa. Okay, so here what it has shown is that if the reactive power component, reactive power component I psi phi, phi is small, that is this phi, phi angle between this uh, angle between this B and I will be very small. Say for example. 10 degrees, uh, 10 degree, okay, or 9 degree, like that, it will be very, very small. So that uh, if uh, this is small, hence the power factor cos phi also will be high. Cos phi will be high. Or other, actually, usually the power, power factor should be 1. Cos phi is equal to 1. When, when the cos phi will be 1, um, and by, by the time if V and I in same axis, if V and I, there is no phase difference. If V and I is in, that is voltage and current is in the same axis, then cos phi will be 1. Why? Because phi means uh, the cos 0. So that 
there is no phase of difference means this is zero cos zero is one so cos zero is one means b and i are in the same axis actually uh, in practice it has to be like this yeah uh, uh, this is the very good condition very good condition so that the power factor is one that is the power factor is constant constant uh, power factor we are maintaining so but practically practically speaking due to the usage of more inductive loads due to the usage of more inductive loads loads in the industries as well as in the domestic loads domestic loads maybe 70 percentage of your total load what we are using is our inductive maybe our ceiling fan then um, uh, like uh, induction stove um, whatever the um, things say, maybe the, our lights uh, um like everything are, are of inductive loads inductive loads resistive loads are very very few very very few in our home whereas in industries um apart from the, like um, many uh, induction motors we will be using then furnace induction furnace we are using for heating something so that uh, your reactive power uh, will goes like anything reactive power will goes like and also power factor will be decreasing Uh, power factor will be decreasing in usual practice um that has this word lagging or leading with a numerical value of power factor so to signify whether the current lags or leads the voltage if the current uh, if the circuit has power factor is 0.5 then the uh, current lags the voltage generally uh, we write the power factor as 0.5 lag so 0.5 Uh, power factor lag so point 5 means uh, inst instead of uh, like uh, uh, point 5 uh, lagging power factor is there but uh, usually point 5 is very very higher uh, it should not be uh, the considerable limit is point 9 point 9 uh, 5 like that point 9 5 uh, it can uh, lead uh, it can lead also it can goes up to 1.1 but usually it will not cross 1.1 1.1 If it 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 not crosses one why because um, only thing is that we are adding some capacitor capacitive bands to lead that power factor as uh, we uh, we have seen uh, the shunt uh, capacitor bands uh, yesterday uh, for voltage control concepts uh, we have studied for um, compensating that reactive power so we are adding uh, what we are adding is we are adding some capacitor bands some capacitor bands Uh, so that the this uh, this will uh, lead this is lagging so in this scenario this will lead lead to the uh, uh, um, lead or um, it will lead okay it will uh, either it will lead to, uh, and it will uh, 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 the voltage and current and uh, voltage and current are in same axis or otherwise it will lead but usually it, it will not lead it, it may go up to 1.1 that is 1.1 like that but uh, usually uh, one it will not cross um, usually in practice i'm uh, telling uh, in theory part we can go up to uh, any any degree but practically uh, 1.1 is the maximum like it, it will uh, lead okay uh, like uh, sometimes the power factor is uh, expressed in percentage thus 0.8 lagging power factor may be ex um, expressed as 80 percentage of lagging power factor coming to the power triangle coming to the power triangle if you see this analysis of power factor can be all also made with the terms of power drawn by the ac circuit this is called power triangle same like that what we have drawn uh, here um, usually this power factor concept is um, explained by using this power triangle the analysis of power factor also can be made with the help of the power drawn by the ac circuit if each side of the current triangle that is uh, this is uh, o okay a and b okay this side you know uh, uh, b a cos phi this side b a sin phi this is b a this side is b a okay so uh, um, if each side of the current triangle o a b of figure uh, shown is multiplied by voltage b so what we are doing is we are multiplying each side 
with the same concept that we are what we are doing is we are multiplying v here here also v and we are also v here same concept v then we get the power triangle then we get the power triangle o a b o a and b capital o a b okay so o a represents v i cos phi which represents the active power active power or real power real power in watts watts or kilowatts in watts or kilowatts this is being generated in the power station so generating station what we are generating is active power and as well as little bit uh, reactive power the, how the reactive power will comes into the account in the generating station is if the uh, say for example bus voltage uh, whatever the uh, gen generation it is happening it is connected to a particular bus or grid okay if the uh, bus voltage is less than the, uh, say, say for example demand bus voltage is nothing but bus uh, from the bus only we are connected that is load is connected if the bus voltage is le less automatically the reactive power also uh, will come into the account so in generating station generally we are generating the active power but uh, due to the uh, less uh, um, uh, less load right due to the less load uh, less demand or uh, like average demand that will be some reactive power so this uh, this reactive power, uh, next uh, um this active power is represented in, in watts or kilowatts or megawatt next uh, ab ab is nothing but bi sin pi represents the reactive power reactive power in bar okay or kvar kvar okay this is the um, unit of reactive power next is ob ob is nothing but bi which represents the apparent power which represents the apparent power the unit of apparent power is ba or kva ba or kva kva or uh, sometimes mva megawatt amperes um, like the sometimes uh, this is also mva or this is also in megawatt okay so i repeat this va cos phi is nothing but active power or real power that is in watts or kilowatts or in megawatts so this bi sin pi which represents the reactive power reactive power which is in bar or kva or and this uh, bi which represents the apparent power that is kva that is B, um, ba or kva or mba so one more thing i just want to um, share so that you can easily understand the uh, this concept yeah so this is uh, the figure um, what we are seeing is this is a uh, beer beer mug uh, like a, a beer um, uh, is poured into a a beer mug so while pouring a beer into a mug so there will be some uh, some um, what do you call uh, some um, uh, things uh, some showers will come out from that uh, uh, beer okay so this uh, this thing this thing is called reactive power so generally uh, while pouring uh, the real power some uh, some amount of uh, like small small Uh, like um, bubbles, small small bubbles will come. Like uh, small um, like uh, bubbles will form around that uh, beer mug. So that that is called the uh, reactive power. Okay. So that is uh, so we plan to take uh, we plan to take full cup of juice, but some um, okay some uh, showers uh, some uh, okay bubbles is coming on to, uh, into the that cup. so that um, bubbles is called the reactive power so what we have poured that is the um, the amount the quantity what we have poured is real power so this power is called real power so what this uh, bubbles is coming out now that bubbles is called the reactive power that is um, this reactive power is not allowing us to take the full cup of the juice reactive power 
that is that uh, uh, showers that uh, bubbles are uh, what you call this uh, showers uh, this bubbles not allowing us to take full cup of the juice so th this is being uh, unused unused or wasted wasted uh, thing that is called reactive power so what we have um, uh, utilized sorry what we have generated or what we have poured is called real power as a whole that is this is the apparent power as a whole this is the apparent power okay so this uh, by this you can easily understand okay this is just for an example uh, not uh, for encouraging you to drink and all so uh, this um, uh, say this is the i repeat this uh, like a juice what we uh, poured what we poured say for example i am pouring some juice in a mug so that uh, some uh, uh, bubbles will come out from, from that juice so that bubbles is not allowing um, us to take the full cup of juice not allowing us to take the full cup of juice okay so that uh, whatever the amount what we poured in the juice in that particular cup is called real power that is real power or active power that is in kilowatt or megawatt so uh, that bubbles that bubbles that is uh, coming uh, from that um, cup uh, not allowing us not allowing us to take full cup of juice full cup of juice so that is called reactive power that is called reactive power or uh, uh, unused power or wasted power so that is called reactive power that is in kvar or var or mvar okay so as a whole it is called apparent power apparent power is a measure of this two that is real power and as well as this reactive power okay now you can understood uh, clearly now we'll move on to the our concept so here if you see this is the power triangle the apparent power in ac circuit has two components apparent power in this ac circuit that is bi is has uh, two uh, components that is active power and as well as reactive power that is ob squared is equal to oa squared plus ab squared from your mathematics uh, that is ob squared is equal to oa squared plus ab square that is apparent power squared is equal to active power square plus reactive power square okay so apparent power is equal to root of active power square plus reactive power square how to calculate this apparent power so apparent power is nothing but square root of active power square plus reactive power square that is kva square is equal to kv Uh, k w square plus k v a r k v a r k v a r square okay and also in another concept power factor is defined as active power to the apparent power that is nothing but power factor cos phi cos phi is equal to from here power factor cos phi is equal to o a divided by o b o a divided by o b so that is nothing but ratio of the active power to the apparent power that is nothing but kw divided by kva kw divided by kva thus the power factor of the circuit may also be defined as ratio of the active power to the apparent power so there is uh, as of now there is two um, definitions for uh, power factor so power factor is nothing but the cosine of the angle between the voltage and current in the ac circuit that is also called power factor in another terms power factor is also defined as ratio of the active power to the apparent power okay so in generally in uh, two marks while asking two marks you have to answer this, this both uh, definitions generally then with this formula also cos uh, phi is equal to active power ratio of active power to the apparent power that is nothing but kw divided by kva okay with this power triangle also if you draw this power triangle and you can explain then the whole two marks is easily being given if you just write like uh, 
the power factor is nothing but percent of angle between voltage and current only one marks okay or sometimes uh, point 0.5 marks uh, zero marks like so if you uh, um, write uh, that definition as well as this definition as well as with power triangle then easily and uh, we can understand and easily you will be getting the whole uh, full marks for that particular question next um coming to the next uh, thing the lagging for reactive power is uh, responsible for low power factor lagging power factor lagging reactive power uh, lagging reactive power is responsible for the low power factor it is clear from the power triangle uh, that smaller the reactive power component higher is the power factor of the circuit <coughs> okay so if the reactive power is very very small then power factor will be almost equal to 1 higher the power factor so in uh, that is kvar that is nothing but reactive power is equal to kva sin phi kva uh, sin phi that is nothing but kva is nothing but kw divided by cos phi kva is nothing but kw by cos phi from this from this um, previous uh, equation k uh, kva is nothing but kw divided by cos phi so if you substitute kw divided by cos phi here then kva are nothing but kw uh, so sin phi divided by cos phi is nothing but tan phi tan phi is okay so reactive power is equal to kw into tan phi if the current lags behind the voltage the reactive power drawn is known as lagging reactive power if the current lags behind the voltage the react so here it is lagging power factor so current is lag begins the voltage so this is the lagging power factor however if the current leads the voltage then reactive power is known as leading power factor if the current leads behind the voltage so generally capacitor is used to lead this capacitor bands okay shunt um, capacitor bands is uh, parallel capacitor bands is used to lead this power factor to uh, to this um, like a current and voltage should be in the same axis or beyond that also okay so capacitor bands is used to lead this for leading currents the power triangle becomes reversed this fact uh, provides a key uh, key to the power factor improvement if the device taking leading reactive power if the device taking leading reactive power example capacitor that is connected in the parallel with the load then the lagging power factor of the load will partially neutralize thus improving the power factor of the load as i said if the device taking leading reactive power example capacitor is connected okay so capacitor generally will lead the reactive power so reactive power is connected if the capacitor is connected in the parallel with the load then the lagging power factor of the load will be partially neutralized thus improving the power factor of the load so generally this will goes this um, i this angle will goes like this lead to uh, this so b b and i uh, will be in the same axis b and i will be in the same axis thus improves the power factor of the load and also power factor of the circuit can be de defined in the three ways it is also defined in the three ways so power factor is nothing but cosine of the angle between the um, voltage and current power factor is also defined as resistance by impedance resistance by impedance that is r by z power factor is also defined as bi cos phi divided by bi that is ratio of the active power to the apparent power so bi 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 get cancelled so cos phi cos phi is nothing but power factor so it is nothing but ratio of the active power to the apparent power ratio of the active power to the apparent power is nothing but power factor okay so if um, two marks uh, will be asked so you have to write this three definition as well as with this with this uh, power triangle with this diagram also you have to draw with this diagram if you draw so you have to draw clearly this phi this uh, i cos phi i sin phi i like that you can name whatever you want uh, this notation so here a b or p q 
x y uh, like that um, whatever you want you can name but uh, the thing is that i want uh, this thing we want this thing i cos phi here i sin phi i then phi okay then uh, this is voltage axis this is the current axis so voltage is lag against the current by angle of phi like that you have to draw clearly so this three definitions you have to write for your uh, two mark question <coughs> next coming to the this reactive power is neither consumed in the circuit nor is thus the useful work it merely flows back and forth in both the direction in the circuit so reactive power is the unused power reactive power is the unused power or um, uh, like uh, neither what it will do is in reactive power neither it is not consumed say for example if the power generation is somewhat higher so uh, some uh, amount is not consumed um, uh, 50 megawatt or 25 megawatt or 100 megawatt is not consumed in the particular line so that will flow as the reactive power it merely flows back and forth in the both direction in the circuit a watt meter does not measure this reactive power okay so uh, let let us illustrate a small example so that you can really understand uh, this suppose the current uh, draws a circuit of 10 amperes at the voltage of 200 volts and if the power factor is 0.8 lag okay so voltage is 200 volts and the current is 10 amperes power factor is 0.8 lagging here then what is the apparent power so apparent power is nothing but v into i so 200 into 10 is 2000 va or 2 kv next apparent power is va cos phi that is nothing but v into i that is already we calculated 2 200 into 10 into cos phi cos phi is 0.8 lagging so 0.8 next reactive power vi sin phi vi sin phi if you calculate this 1600 watts 1600 watt is being generated being generated in the generating station what is the reactive power va sin phi va sin phi is 200 into 10 into uh, sin phi sin uh, sin uh, into uh, point uh, sorry for cos phi is equal to point a so phi is equal to cos in inverse of point a okay so you you will get some uh, things and you substitute uh, here sin into that particular angle you will get 1200 var so 1200 var is a, is does uh, is the unused does not uh, uh, do any useful work so in the uh, circuit it receives the apparent power of 2000 va and it is be able to convert only 1600 so 2000 uh, va is the apparent power but it is able to convert only <coughs> 1600 watts into active power and uh, reactive power is 1200 var and does no useful work so 1200 var does not uh, do any useful work it merely flows in and uh, into and out of the circuit periodically in fact reactive power is a layer uh, liability on the source because the source has uh, has to supply additional current okay so merely this uh, 2200 is uh, waste uh, unused power unused power is being uh, only 1600 watts only utilized only 1600 uh, watts only utilized if uh, suppose um, uh, here here if you go with the Uh, so uh, now v and i is one v and i is one is uh, one means this phi is uh, nothing but zero this phi is nothing but zero so cos zero is cos zero is one so there is no phase difference so va and i i are in the same axis say for example if phi is, uh, if power factor is cos phi is 0.99 if power factor is uh, 0.99 uh, then if you calculate Uh, what is uh, angle angle between this now phi is equal to cos inverse of that 0.99 so if you calculate that is 8.1 8 approximately 8.1 degree so 8.1 degree it will be generally um, in substations or in our home if you uh, you can also note down 
the power factor in your home also if you go to the energy meter there will be one button so after this class everyone you just go to your energy meter in your home there will be one button nothing will happen uh, you will not feel any shock don't worry go to your energy meter uh, there will be one one button is there okay um, there will be always reading your, your kilowatt hour uh, like uh, whatever the energy used kilowatt hour will be there if you press uh, like this current will be coming and uh, if you press again there will be some power factor pf pf uh, point uh, 956 or 0.97 0.98 point 99 something like that you, it will be coming so in frequent hours you just see and now at 11 o'clock what is the uh, power factor in your home then after term, uh, like 2 o'clock in the peak hour you go and see 6:30 7:30 7 o'clock uh, 7 pm you go and see what is the power factor in your home like that if you see there will be a small difference small difference is 0.97 0.98 0.99 like that it will be coming but in in the substation they have to maintain they have to maintain this power factor power factor as uh, 0.99 or 1 for uh, they uh, the, their tolerance limit is only uh, 0.95 uh, it should not go beyond this 0.9 Uh, it, uh, they have to maintain 0.9521, 0 0.9521. Why? Because the whole um, old substation is being connected to your load dispatch center. That is LDCs, load dispatch centers. That load dispatch center together is connected to your main grid, main grid of the particular state. That main grid is connected to your uh, southern grid or northern grid, wherever you are located. So here, here we are in. the southern uh, southern uh, part so all our state that is combiningly as i said like uh, uh, from the uh, tip uh, uh, tamil nadu kerala pondicherry andhra pradesh karnataka telangana is being connected in the southern regional grid southern regional grid so this um, all the ldc all the load dispatch center in the particular states is being connected with the state grid and state grid is directly connected with your southern uh, regional grid which is located in the bangalore so southern regional grid already is is connected so if uh, in um, substation is connected to ldc slow dispatch center if substation uh, did not maintain this power factor substation is maintaining 0.8 power factor means that is uh, the uh, ld from the ldc uh, they will just disconnect that particular substation so your substation will not receive the power if the substation will not receive the power means the whole area <coughs> some um, five areas will be connected with that particular substation that uh, in and around that five areas will not get the power say so for example if the load dispatch center itself in hyderabad um, load dispatch center is there the load uh, dispatch center is not maintaining the power factor say the load dispatch center in hyderabad is not maintaining the power factor of um, uh, like 0.99 uh, it is maintaining only 0.85 like that so that will be a warning command from the state grid state grid um, that is also uh, it is uh, near to the hyderabad so from the state grid there will be one warning uh, they will wait for 2 minutes to 5 minutes if suppose the state grid also not maintaining the um uh, power factor so simply they like that this load dispatch center from hyderabad also simply like that they will cut they will um, cut that uh, state uh, load dispatch center. so you will not get any um, uh, power from the state grid to the hyderabad load dispatch center say for example the whole state the whole state telangana state itself Uh, due to a uh, heavy um, uh, like uh, industrial like um, industrial loads and as well as inductive loads the whole telangana state is not um, maintaining the power factor of 0.9 0.9 or 0.95 uh, power factor from southern regional dispatch center um, from uh, bangalore they would monitor from say, each states what is the so if the all the power factor is um, same only they, they can easily and also all the power factor and frequency is maintaining constant only they may connect to the grid 
I think you've studied in circuit, circuits, electrical circuits. If, uh, if they are not maintaining, if they are in, even in um, the whole Telangana state is not maintaining the power factor, simply they will want for uh, five minutes. They will give time for five minutes. Extra five minutes also they may give to rectify. Even uh, after 10 minutes also, if they are not maintaining the power factor, simply they will cut the, um, they will island, they will island the whole state itself from the Southern Regional Load Dispatch Center. If, if uh, the whole, whole Telangana is being islanded, uh, islanded means they will simply cut the power. If the whole Telangana is islanded from the electricity that is connected to the grid, there, what it happened is from some states, they are getting some shafts. Say uh, from Tamil Nadu, we are getting some 200 megawatt or 300 megawatt uh, from uh, the nuclear power plant. We are getting some shares from some other state. From Andhra Pradesh also, we are getting some uh, power uh, power as a share. Uh, and um, from Karnataka also, some shares we are getting. And sometimes we are giving the power to uh, nearby states also. Sometimes if the, um, the load is less, we are uh, supplying the power to nearby states, even to Karnataka, even to uh, Andhra Pradesh also we are giving. Uh, the thing is that if we are not maintaining the power factor, simply like that they will cut. So our shares will not get, our shares will not get means 200 megawatt, 300 megawatt. Then uh, some uh, some other states uh, we are getting uh, 400 megawatt. That, uh, so 700 megawatt is deficit for us. So 700 megawatt deficit for us now, Okay, so 700 megawatt is very, very huge amount. Maybe the whole city will not get that. The whole city and uh, many districts, uh, some uh, two or three districts uh, will not get the power. If two or three districts will not get the power for two hours, three hours means, definitely there will be very huge loss for them only. Like industries will be there. Many industries, they will be uh, losing their profit. Uh, many things are there uh, because they will not allow uh, that scenario in the, even in low dispatch center as well as in in your um, like industries also they will not allow us to maintain this power factor why because if they allow us if they allow um, like uh, uh, to lagging power factor automatically uh, our, our substation will not will be cutting and uh, then um, low dispatch centers will be islanded then our whole state, uh, if load dispatch center will be doing like this, then uh, if all the load dispatch center will be doing the same, then the whole state will be islanded. So in the, uh, in the substation itself, they will stop that. In the substation itself, they will stop that. How, how uh, they will stop? Because how they will stop now? They will, um, in substation, they uh, clearly knows. Uh, they will have some five feeders or four feeders like that. So in which feeder, what are all the loads uh, are connected uh, like that, they clearly know. Because in substation, there will be one map. If you visit the substation, there will be one small map. In that map, uh, it will be showing um, what is the uh, approximate, uh, approximate the power is being consumed in that particular feeder. What are the loads? Even our homes also will be plotted in, the, in that particular, even your linemans will have that map, small map. Area wise, one map will be there. Your line man will have that map. If you, uh, if our home is uh, um, uh, like a, is having some any fuse problem, fuse problem, and that we are not receiving the power from early in morning like that, uh, some neutral is being cut like that. Simply like that, we are noting down, we are making a complaint. So how the uh, only we are just telling the service con uh, connection number. Service connection number only we are uh, telling. There is uh, some UAN number, something like that. Identification number only we are telling. We are not telling the address to your lineman, lineman while complaining. So how they are knowing that? They will be having one small map in that particular area they know. So they will be seeing what is that uh, number, service connection number. Uh, say uh, 153. So 153, uh, where it is being located. So in this particular area, they will uh, they will see the map. Uh, they, they know in this street uh, fourth house is 
this uh, service connection number 153. So simply like that, they will come and rectify that particular problem. But uh, in substation also, if uh, the power factor is uh, leading like that, so they clearly they know they, um, uh, that particular um, feeder is connected with uh, some industries, say some industries um, due to the large inductive loads or due to the heavy machineries. Uh, that might be, um, uh, even though in industries, there might be um, electrical in charge, maintenance in charge will be the, their role is to maintain this power factor constant. Suppose they are also not maintaining the power factor as constant, that will be monitored in the substation. That will be monitored in the substation that uh, this feeder, uh, it is not maintaining the uh, particular um, power factor. That is, it is maintaining 0.8 or something like that. What they will do is they clearly know which uh, from the domestic load, they will not call and ask uh, that to shut off like that. But uh, even they know the industries. So even they, what they will do is they will call to that particular industry to switch off that particular machine. They know how many machines that particular industries are having. 10 machines or 20 machines. So if uh, they uh, even uh, daily morning, daily morning, nine o'clock before, if they want to on a particular 10 machines, from the industries, they have to call to substation. They have to intimate, like we are going to on this particular 10 machines uh, today for our production, like that. Otherwise, if the if, if you simply on and uh, run, uh, uh, the power factor will be lagging in the, uh, in the uh, substation itself. So what they will do is they simply cut that feeder. So they will not um, allow uh, that scenario. So this is a very, very interesting thing. They will simply cut that feeder. So in the industry itself, they will not, they will be maintaining the constant. This is the worst scenario I'm talking, but sometimes it, it, it will also happen in the industry. 